Hello, my name is Eric White. I live here on one acre of land. We're gonna be talking about for the next little bit how to raise tilapia fish in whatever you have. We purchase some fish of our own and we fill it up with water. And so this is what we're gonna be talking about for a little bit. Our pool that we, the family made ourselves, that is 40 foot long and is 20 foot wide and it's from three foot in the shallow end and six foot in the deep end. And we think that there's about 22,000 gallons of water there. Uh, people tells us that you uh, need about two gallons of water per fish. But basically, we're just guessing. A couple years ago, we had around 5,000 fish. We started with 100. And out of that 100 in one year, we had close to 5,000. At one time, they were eating about seven five-gallon buckets every other day of duckweed. Uh, it doesn't cost anything it just to go get it. And we found that we, the water hyacinths, the fishermen hates the water hyacinths in the rivers and the lake because it stops up and it's hard to run a motorboat through the hyacinths. So basically, the fisherman doesn't like it. But us raising fish, tilapia, it's good because it helps feed them. It puts out a white root and the uh, fish, they don't eat the top of the hyacinths, but they do eat the roots. To my left here, we had a spa to sit in and relax for the family, but it ended up being a biofilter system for the fish. You can take some of this that we do and put it in place at your house. The grow bed is filled up with rock and we send water in that grow bed. It gets to a certain height, the way it's plumbed, and it siphles out to where the fish is. And then it is dry, your rock is dry where your plant's roots are for 12, 15, 18 minutes. And then when that's dry, the, the plants like that because it doesn't drown the plant. It gives them an opportunity to get fresh oxygen. And so then when that goes dry, it takes about 10 or 12, 15 minutes so for that water to come back and fill up and wet your plant again. So say less than every 20 minutes, your plant is getting fresh water from the fish, which is feeding your plants. And that's what makes it grow. You don't have to pick no weeds out of your rock. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about any bugs and why I'm not absolutely sure, other than the vegetables, it appears that they grow so fast and they're so healthy that we're not bothered with bugs to, uh, on the plants that are in the aquaponic. This is the aquaponic system from that pump over there. And all that pump did was to put water in your grow bed and then it siphoned down into your fish tank. And now your fish tank filled up with water and now it's going back into the pool where the fish is and the fish likes that water better than the water that comes out of the well. The rabbits do real well with this grass. I can cut it off in about a month and a half. I can, it'll grow back up and I cut it again. These rabbits are New Zealand's. They're commercial. They raise a lot of little ones. Sometimes they will have 10 or 12 kits in a litter. And if a doe has a large litter of kits or babies, and if they raise them, that tells you two good things. That she's a good producer in production, and also that she is a good milker. Droppings from the rabbits is more important to us than the rabbits. 
The rabbits supply feed for our worms. Worms is the best seller that we have. There's a demand for that. We're shipping at the present time. We're shipping all over the United States. We would like to be able to ship all over the world, but we're not there yet. The worms that they basically, you can raise them without any food other than just the rabbit. We're pushing our worms at the, at the present time as hard as we know how to push them to increase the production of our worms. We have as many soul as we can raise. The man that we're dealing with now is in California and he told us when we started working with him that he could sell all that we could raise. And there's probably a quarter of a pound of worms right here. And now, see how that casting is fine there? And if you'll take a look at that casting there, that's the droppings from the rabbits. When the rabbits are, when it looks, the dropping or the poop uh, from the rabbits is like that, the rabbits are ahead of the worms. But when the worm, when the this becomes like this, the worms are ahead of the rabbits.